I wanna talk about what grinds my gears, like Peter Griffin on Family Guy. This is me, this is me. We need to educate ourselves on how money works so we're not controlled, not controlled by the dollar. It doesn't need to be like that. We don't really see a lot of schools pushing trade schools or entrepreneurship or owning a business or investing. Let's not forget investing, okay? Schools don't really push that. They just push college, college, college. How amazing would it feel if you knew that you could make money like this, that you can make money in your sleep, that you wake up and you see new amounts of money in your bank account every single day just by doing something once, by working less and making more money. It is 1000% possible, but in order for you to do that, you need to learn how to make money work for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Bree, and I teach you all about money and business and give you the financial literacy that you have not been taught in school. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what absolutely freaking grinds my gears about our current education system. Be sure to stay to the end of the video because I'm going to be sharing with you how you can easily, easily, easily start to build your money IQ and create more money working less. All right, all right, all right. You know that I have been out of the education system. I mean, I just left my teaching job recently, but there was something that was just so blatantly in my face, so many issues that I saw in the education field, but the number one thing that bothered me the most about our current education system is that there are zero financial literacy standards that are being pushed and taught inside elementary classrooms, probably middle school and high school classrooms. And I think that is a huge problem. It's a huge problem because how are citizens of America supposed to manage their money wisely without being taught the proper basic skills that we all need in order to survive? Make it make sense to me, please. There are mandated PE minutes, at least in California there was. There is mandated math minutes. And where's the financial literacy piece? Where's students learning how to budget, manage, invest, save? Where is it? I, I just wanna know where. For me, I was never taught financial literacy in school at all. And actually, the only piece of financial advice I ever received was from one of my economic teachers in high school. And he just gave a really great example of save 10%. Save 10% of everything you earned. And because of his advice, here I am multiple streams of income, two rental real estate properties, two businesses, and just a lot of goodness, you know? And I am super grateful for him, but he went out of his way to teach this, which is great, which is so great that teachers are doing that, but I came from teaching and I wanted to incorporate so much more financial literacy, juiciness, and um, very in-depth lessons to help students manage money and understand a budget and understand withdrawal and understand deposits. But I was just so burned out and so extremely tired and just way too spent in order to do that inside my classroom. So now I am doing it here on this YouTube channel through my products and through my courses and resources. Now, I wanna talk about what grinds my gears, like Peter Griffin on Family Guy. This is me, this is me. Now, one of the reasons I went to college was because I was fearful. The only reason I wanted to go to college was because I didn't want to grow up the same way that I grew up. I didn't want to live in a low socioeconomic situation. I didn't wanna be stressed out with money. I didn't want my kids to live in a lack of money environment like I did. I remember in eighth grade, my eighth grade, history teacher did this whole lecture about how if you go to college you will make one million dollars more a year than someone who doesn't go to college and right then in there eighth grade I knew I was gonna go to college there was no if ands or buts it was going to happen for me however that decision to go to college was 1000% rooted in fear fear of not having enough money so I'm gonna go to college rather than I'm so excited to learn X to help 
blank. Rather than being excited for a profession or being excited for what it was that I wanted to do, I simply just went to college for the money. And I'm going to be honest about it. Let me know in the comments if you feel me on this, but it was 1000% fear-based. I don't know if that was the whole premise of the lesson. I do not know. But that was the decision I made right then and there, and that was because I was fearful. Now, fast track to probably over a decade later, I got my master's degree in education, and I came to a very hard point in my life of making a very tough decision. And that decision was, I was making very, very good money as an elementary school teacher. However, I was not feeling passionate about my job. I was not feeling lit up. I was actually feeling the opposite. I was feeling drained and stressed and just so unhappy. I didn't feel like I was living in my purpose. And that, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you wanna look at it, was leaked into my household. It was leaked into my home, into my marriage, into my friendships. And I had to make a choice. I had to make the choice of, do I stick with teaching for the money because it's so good and I am actually providing for my entire family off my income here? Or am I willing to take the chance to find happiness and actually live an embodiment what I teach online? A huge problem I was having was standing in front of the class and you know, schools push college. It's just the truth. We don't really see a lot of schools pushing trade schools or entrepreneurship or owning a business or investing. Let's not forget investing, okay? Schools don't really push that. They just push college, college, college. And fortunately enough for me, I did not go into massive amounts of debt to go into college. But for kids that just think that that's the only option like I did, are we really serving the kids to see all of the different options that are actually available for them? Even the military, trade schools, like I said, entrepreneurship, investing, all of these are really, really great alternatives to college. My insides were just like, nah, this isn't, this isn't it. How can I stand here and just push college? And I was, you know, I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I just always wondered what my life would be like if I was in school and they showed what entrepreneurship was like and they showed what it meant to be an entrepreneur or to be a business owner or to be an investor or to go into a, a specific type of trade school a part of me would have absolutely loved that and i actually almost went into cosmetology school um but again the whole you earn a college degree equals more money sure that might be true but it's not an absolute truth and also I was extremely unhappy in my job choice. So the question arises like what happens when you go to college, you spend all this money and it's not fulfilling you, it's not what you wanted to do. It's, it's a really big disservice for the kids, for us and for the community. Now, like I said before, I was rooted in fear in my decision to go to college and make money in that way. Now, what really grinds my gears is money is one of the easiest ways to control people. And since money and financial literacy is not taught in school, what does that mean? That people, students, kids, adults, are getting a whole education, but they're not getting an education towards their basic needs of how to live and survive comfortably. So instead, people think that in order to be successful, they have to go get this high paying job, but it causes so much stress on their body, relationship and friendships. Since people don't understand money and how it works, they're just being thrown into this fear state around money. How many of us are so fearful about money? Not enough. Oh my gosh, the economy. Oh my gosh, all this stuff is going on. But we're not, we don't actually understand money. We don't understand the energetics behind it. We don't understand how it has been created and how it actually is just a floating currency and how there is nothing tied to the dollar bill anymore. There is no education about that. And actually, if you are lucky enough to have learned this information, consider yourself lucky. I'm telling you right now, I was not taught any of this information in my schooling system. And I grew up in Southern California. I grew up under the same standards as a majority of people. And you know what? I'm sure there are amazing, amazing teachers and professors and educators who are teaching some type of financial literacy in their classrooms. But to be honest, it takes extra work and it takes 
extra time to do it. And also like, are a lot of teachers making like these investing moves and are a lot of teachers knowing how to manage their money in a very wise way to create more money? I'm gonna say a majority no, because I actually had to actively educate myself over a decade to learn this information. Seriously, it took me probably over a decade, 12, 15 years to sit here today and to confidently ground into what I am that I am teaching. And because money is connected to our survival, like we need money to eat, to house, to live, it is so easy for us to be controlled by money. So what happens is people make money from fear. Fear of not having enough, fear of saving for the future, fear of saving for retirement, fear, fear, fear. It's an issue. But however, I want to encourage you that that is just one way to view and live with money. However, it's kind of the only way we've been taught to view money, unless our parents taught us differently. But again, not everyone had that. Do you know what fear does to humans? Fear puts humans in a fight, flight, freeze, or fawn state. That is how money is connected to control. If you are able to have people be fearful of where their money is coming from, you are very easy to control. Like you see it often. I mean, I saw it as a teacher, you know? Oh, do this extra work, do this extra thing for the, for just a little bit more money, even though you're worn out, even though you're overworked, even though you are just barely hanging on by a thread. You want the extra money, don't you? Here's a carrot, take it, take it, take it. And I don't want us to feel guilty for this, but I do want you to understand what happens because humans, they become fearful of losing the money, of their well-being, taking care of their families. So what happens is their nervous system spikes. And so many people have dysregulated nervous systems to where they are not grounded enough with a regulated nervous system in order to make very conscious and very grounded decisions with their money. Because if they are rooted in fear, they're gonna jump, they're gonna do it, they're gonna say yes, even though it's not actually what is best for their health, for their happiness, and for their well being of not only themselves, but their entire family unit. I grew up in a household where my mo mom was completely stressed out with her job, and it lingered into the household, and it lingered upon me to where I made my. <laughs> decisions with money way back in eighth grade. I remember feeling the first time I felt scarcity around money and that was in fifth and fourth grade. Like it's insane. We need to educate ourselves on how money works so we're not controlled, not controlled by the dollar. It doesn't need to be like that. Now, how I see it truly, truly how I see it is the more the internet's available, the more people are willing to invest in their own education, the more people are understanding like, hey, this isn't working anymore. I am repeating the same patterns my parents are repeating. That's what happened to me. I was repeating the same exact habit as my mom, literally, down to being terminated or fired or let go, whatever, for my first teaching job. And it crushed me. And then after five years of being in the profession, being stressed, not being emotionally available for my husband and family, and just being worn thin, and literally feeling like I've just been used and abused by the system, <laughs> I made the decision to pivot out and transition out. All you need to do is take the leap to learn about money. And I have created a very special program, a program and course that is going to teach you how to work less and make more money. We have been trained and we have been conditioned and we have been taught to think that we have to work really, really, really hard to earn money, but it's not like that anymore. Because the internet exists and because we have literally unlimited potential at our fingertips to make money just by posting something, just by creating something, this creates so much more potential than what used to be available for our parents. And I see it as if we are not capitalizing on the beautiful resources we have now, what are we doing? Why are we living mediocre? Why are we 
use, doing the same routine, same patterning as our parents did. It just doesn't make sense to me. And I refuse to live a life like that. I choose to live off of my parents' lessons and create different for my own family. I refuse to work a job that drains me. I refuse to make money in a way that does not feel good, that does not feel expansive, and that does not feel juicy AF. How amazing would it feel if you knew that you could make money like this, that you can make money in your sleep, that you wake up and you see new amounts of money in your bank account every single day just by doing something once, by working less and making more money. It is 1000% possible, but in order for you to do that, you need to learn how to make money work for you. It's not taught in school. You have to educate yourself on it. It's more or less like a hidden knowledge that the you know, the average folk don't know. But now because of the internet, the information's more widely available to us all. And that is how I learned. And that is how I am sitting here today, not going back into the classroom. And look how much happier I am. I'm lighter, I'm brighter, I'm happier. I'm making money left and right because I am the source of my income. I create the money, I do it. I don't leave it up to a job. I don't leave it up to any other source other than me and the divine source. <laughs> but imagine living in a world where you make money while you play, while you sleep, while you play with your kids, your dogs, anything, while you're doing your makeup, your hair. Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? How good does that feel? I want to welcome you to join the waitlist for Financial Freedom Academy. Inside Financial Freedom Academy, you are going to be given a step-by-step -step process on how to create an additional stream of income and learn how to make money work for you. This information is not taught in school. You're not gonna learn this anywhere else unless you spend a decade plus learning it for yourself through books, mentorships, courses, and real life examples, real life lessons. Instead, I have spent the last six months creating this very potent transformational course, Financial Freedom Academy. Inside Financial Freedom Academy, you are going to learn the step-by-step -step framework that is going to take you from being so scared around money in a scarcity mindset because of what you've been programmed to believe and to decondition you, to transform you, educate you on how money works so you can create money. You can make money in your sleep. You will learn how to make money work for you by working less. Sounds too good to be true? It's not. Join Financial Freedom Academy. The link to enrollment will be down below. I only open it two times a year. So when you see that enrollment open jump on and take the course I am your teacher inside of Financial Freedom Academy and together we are going to radically change how you view money spend money invest money and make money you are going to be able to learn these valuable skills tools and resources and to teach your children to teach your children how to make money work for them instead of creating this problem of living out in the world real world and getting into massive amounts of debt totally destroying credit, totally not knowing how to even purchase a house, not knowing how to budget, not knowing how to invest. It is absolutely ridiculous, but I already talked about that earlier in the video. So I welcome you inside. I can't wait to see you. Let me know in the comments once you join the wait list and I cannot wait to see you inside. Together, we are completely going to change the world and how money works. I am so excited.